OpenJDK has long been a top pick for real-world applications and workloads for its balanced blend of performance, compatibility, reliability, and observability. For many years, JDK Flight Recorder JFR, and JDK Mission Control JMC, were proprietary and commercial features that added to that success, but only for certain users in certain workloads. In 2018, Mission Control and Flight Recorder were open-sourced. JFR is now included built-in to modern JVMs from later releases of OpenJDK 8 and all OpenJDK versions from 11 onward. This means that the power of always-on, near-zero overhead production profiling and monitoring, application-specific custom events, and unified core JDK analytical tooling is within reach for all JDK users. But open source JMC and JFR emerged into a world rapidly moving into containerization. The desktop only JMC application requires developers and administrators to have access to their flight recordings on the local disk or a complex and insecure setup to connect directly to their applications over JMX in the cloud. The bare metal focused JFR allows JVMs to dump recordings to their local file system, but when the application runs within a container, this file system is not easily accessible from the outside world, so the recording cannot be retrieved and analyzed. To all of these problems, we present a single solution, Container JFR. Installing and running Container JFR in your deployment is easy. If you're using OpenShift, just visit the Operator Hub view in your OpenShift console and install the Container JFR operator. After that is complete, simply create a Container JFR custom resource. This instructs the operator to set up a Container JFR deployment in your namespace. A standard installation contains a single pod, within which are three containers, Container JFR itself, a Grafana dashboard, and a JFR data source, which converts flight recorder files into a format consumable by the dashboard. There is also a minimal mode, which can be set when recreating the custom resource, which will deploy only the Container JFR container using a slightly slimmer image, which does not contain the React web client application. Container JFR is itself a containerized JVM, which runs as a sidecar alongside your applications. Depending on the runtime environment, it will automatically pick the best strategy for discovering your JMX-enabled applications, whether that is with the Java Discovery Protocol or JVMstat, when running within Docker or Podman Compose, or endpoints representing individual pods in Kubernetes and OpenShift. All you need to do is ensure that your applications have JMX-enabled and that that port is published and reachable by Container JFR. Container JFR has support for flight recorder event templates, which are presets of event types to enable and various configuration properties for these events, such as sampling periods or duration thresholds, which simplify the task of capturing meaningful data for your application. There is also a view that displays all the event types registered with the Flight Recorder framework for a given target JVM, which is useful when creating or modifying your own event templates. You can download a template from a target JVM to your local machine through Container JFR, which allows you to open and inspect the template XML document with your favorite text editor. You can even import and edit the template using JDK Mission Control. Once you are satisfied with the template you have created or modified, you can re-upload this to Container JFR, where it will be retained for your future use. This template can then be applied when creating new recordings across any of your JVM applications. Of course, all of this also works with Flight Recorder's Custom Events API as well. There are a few configuration options available for recordings, which we won't get into here. The basics are, the name of the recording, the duration before the recording is automatically stopped, and the event specifier string or template to use, which defines which events will be captured in the recording. When you create a recording, you ask Container JFR to send instructions to your target JVM to start a flight recording within itself. No data is transferred outside of your application at this point, other than the name, state, and start time of your recordings, along with some other basic metadata. At this point, the recording lives only in the memory of your target application within its container. At any time, you may archive a recording, 
which streams a snapshot of it out of your application and into Container JFR, which then immediately writes it to its local disk for preservation. This ensures that even if your application is scaled down or otherwise goes away, you still have access to the recording for analysis. One of the most powerful and compelling features of Container JFR is how it can enable you to perform analysis on your flight recordings fully within your cloud deployment without any need to transfer data back to your local machine. If you're in a log cabin with a slow cell connection, or in an airport, which is your phone or tablet, you can still check on the health of your applications. If the automated analysis report doesn't contain enough information for you, or if it points out a possible problem and you want to inspect it more closely, you can send the recording to the JFR data source exporter within the container JFR pod and view the data within using Grafana. We provide a pre-configured dashboard for you with some basic time series data to look at, but you're encouraged to create your own dashboards with the metrics that matter most to you. Finally, if the in-cloud, in-browser analysis tools available still aren't enough, then you can download the recording file from Container JFR to your local disk and open it with a full-featured offline JDK Mission Control desktop application. There's a huge wealth of features and capabilities here, so let's leave that for another demo.